Good morning, Sarah, and how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Well, we're here, here today, a three-bedroom villa. I suppose we'd call it a villa. It's fully walled and fenced. All of the bedrooms are en suite, and it has a really massive outbuilding. I know you were checking. Is it possible to repurpose that? Uh, it's, it's all urban, so we will have to check with the engineers whether it's actually possible to turn that into Casa de Habitation a habitable house, that's something that we'll, we'll, we'll need checking with the engineers. As it stands, it's all registered and urban, as you say. We've got 154 square metres on the actual house and 170 square metres on the building at the back. Even if it couldn't be turned to habitation, it could still be turned into workshops or what it was, was he kept animals. So the reason it's all fenced, he had cows and he had dogs and so it was specifically built for that purpose. When you see the height, you'll see that it could be easily be repurposed just for personal use, art studios, workshop. If you want to work from home and you're a carpenter, you could easily put a studio in there. For example, multiple uses you can find for that building. It's also got access, hasn't it? Vehicle access uh, by a track at the back, yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of land, that's outside of the fence at right, the rear. Okay, okay. okay so shall we go and have a look? Yep, go for it. You want to lead the way? I shall. I am going to take this moment to show you this property from the air. As you can see, it is walled, apart from a small parcel at the rear. I will add in a boundary map now. The property has access from the road and from the rear of the property, giving some unique opportunities. A buyer's agent service is now being offered by PP Property. If you are looking to buy in Portugal, either now or in the future, please contact us on sales at ppproperty.com. We now have access to a huge percentage of the real estate market, thousands of properties that are not offered on the portals can be made available to you. PP Property has a skilled multilingual team that can guide you through the whole of the sales process. We can help you with mortgages, currency transfer and much more. Contact us now for further details. We are of course always looking to add new properties and new videos so to make sure you do not miss out then please subscribe to the channel, share and like the video. It really does help to spread the word. So where is it? Tamar is 25 minutes away. Alvayazara is 15 minutes, while Ferreira de Cesare is 20 minutes away. There are a number of river beaches within 20 minutes and the nearest airport, which is Lisbon, is less than one and a half hours. Coimbra is 45 minutes and the seaside is just over an hour. There is a cafe and mini market that you can walk to in under 10 minutes. This area is particularly popular with expatriates and if you wish to, there's always something going on that you can join. This is a property that has many options and opportunities. So let's go and rejoin Sarah and we shall show you the rest of this property. Obviously there's plenty of parking area directly off the road. There's a bus stop right outside. So you are on no, the bus route for what it is. I mean, the buses don't exactly run super often. It's not like, you know, every 10 minutes there's a bus, but, uh, but there are daily buses, aren't there? There are. Uh, you can see here, it hasn't been tended for a little while. Obviously, there's a flower bed put in here, which would divide the drive. And this area would quite easily turn to sort of semi-lawn. You've got a large walnut tree and the land goes round. It's quite a nice shaped property. Yeah. It goes round to the back and we'll show you afterwards where the door leads out to a very private little garden there. Um, it's all calzaded out here or cobbled, as we say in England, which is always nice. Uh, I don't know if you actually spotted the big squares in the ground, but they're all for uh, drainage and sewage. Yes. So, uh, so it, you know, it's all it's all done. It's all completely ready to live in. 
So yeah, entering into the house, we come into the kitchen, which has got this rather nice marble featured archway. Now there's no, because the electricity is not switched on, so you're going to have Nor's to- your light. Uh, yeah, nor is my light, which I'm going to fix right now. Well done, Sarah. Um, so we come into the kitchen. It's, it's like brand new, isn't it? It's, it's, I mean, the house is actually 20 years old, uh, but it really looks brand new. The hob, everything's on gas, so the hob and the oven, there's a water tank in here for the hot water, and we have radiators throughout the property, and they're also all on gas, yeah. and the bottle With outside, place it? Yeah. is outside, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, there's blinds on all the windows as well. And marble lintels. Yeah, I particularly Tiles like the, the blinds um, here. I, I prefer these to the to the roller ones myself. They're just like, well, the roller ones go go wrong quite a bit, especially in the no, old houses. No, we've got uh, blinds is the wrong word. They're shutters. Shutters, yeah. Which, again, to me, are much preferable. The roller yeah. ones drive me absolutely bonkers if you have to too many houses. Yeah. So, but yes, very nice finishings. I mean, they're solid wooden doors. They're not, you know. Actually, might not be solid, but it's all very nicely done, and it looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's like a new house. It's like it? a new house. It, it is really like is, a yeah. new house. So, so tiled floor in the kitchen, laminate floor throughout much of the rest of the property. Yeah, and actually, you can see how little it's been used because yeah. you can tell when when the floors yes yeah, had a lot of use. You see a tread line. Yeah, especially with laminate. Uh, something, we've got a rather impressive fireplace here, which sort of makes me think of Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> Santa could get up there. Yeah, apologise for the Actually, access. only if he was faking. Um, what we've got is amazing height on the ceiling in this room. The ceilings are lower than the rest of the property. But here, oh yes, I was told to keep my tone of my voice low <laughs> so that I didn't echo. I will try and obtain that now. Um, we've got another radiator, marble. Now, this is a sort of strange circular. We're back in the hallway. Oh, yeah. we keep, where? You keep saying it's strange, but I don't really know what's strange well, about it. It's just like a big circulation area, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the actual front door, which we walked past earlier. And then there's the it's a municipal toilet. No, it's the, um, <laughs> the family bathroom. It's the general use bathroom. What's the, what's the correct word I'm looking for? I don't know. The WC. Yes. Visitors, visitors, WC. <laughs> we have got um, the telephone. Yeah, that's to go to the gate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the ceilings, I mean, actually, for a property that's 20 years old, wooden ceiling with inlet lights would have been yeah. extremely modern. Yeah. The tiles are very traditional, not too bold and bashy that you wouldn't keep them, I don't think, at personal taste. Yeah, I hardly noticed them, which... Well, that's the thing, they're not actually too, not, not too intrusive, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I can see the hallway. Now, this, this is different flooring. I think this is, this is hard. No, this is laminate flooring as well. Okay. Pretty this sure, is in yeah. there, though. It's just different. Yeah, okay, well, it's nice. Yeah. So, on the left, as Paul's going into the room now, this would be your master bedroom, but it's slightly bigger than the other two. So, um, given that it's got two three quarter beds in, yes, yeah, huge. You'd have a large bed in here, plus room for a small table and chair, uh, which is the layout they've got it here. We have the built-in well, actually, well, if it was me, it would have to be an extra wardrobe. We've got a built-in wardrobe there, and then if I just let you go into the bathroom, we have a bath there which has some sort of spa effect, or jacuzzi effect. Let's have a look. And there, were, there were dowels and plugs, so it tells me something's yeah. going on there. Definitely. Water squirts out, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a jacuzzi bath. And. Note that they've all got towel rails as well, heated towel rails, which will also run on the gas. Yeah, run on the central heating, yeah. yeah. So this is a really nice sized master bedroom. Yeah, bigger than average, isn't it? It is. I think you just need to swap the layout around and you'd see it more. Well, but 
Depends what you want. To the end of the property, we have two identical rooms. Not quite identical. But they're good size, both good size doubles. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfectly adequate double bedroom, yeah. isn't it? They're good size yeah. doubles because you've got your wardrobe in here yeah. and also an ensuite. So if you just go in and have a look at these. Yeah, it's not quite a dressing room, is it? But it's, it's very nice. I mean, it's got plenty of wardrobe space with the, with the bathroom or the shower room yeah. just off it. Both of these rooms have showers. But yes, it's got everything you need. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's drawers in the bottom, wardrobe space, and drawers at the top. So in this room, we have your bathroom here. I think this is smaller. Yeah. This the bedroom is, is a slightly small. smaller room. Yeah. I mean, it's a... It's still a double. It is a double. Yeah, just about a double. It's a double considering... Oh, hang on. You haven't got a wardrobe. Oh, uh, no. No, we've, we've, we've misconfigured that. So, it is an ensuite, but realistically, because there's a wardrobe in here as well, it's a three this is going to be a single room. Yeah, a single three-quarter. Or bunk beds, or yeah. three-quarter, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so walking left back up the corridor, we're going to take the left door outside. Which leads to a rather nice, it's a sort of U-shaped property. Again, the calzade and the grass, all of the blinds. Now, this is a really nice area, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, the house, it could do with a little bit of TLC and basically sort of just jet washing on the outside, and it would look a lot prettier. But the details are very nice, and we didn't mention it before but we've got stone lintels with marble tops which is a little bit unusual to see the two things together yeah and then you've got the contrast of the tiles which just come around this front corner of the property and down at the top it's paint you see it's all gutted it's all got guttering i like the tiled effect on the walls yeah it's just something different isn't yeah. it I mean, you know, here it just needs jet washing and, and, and the weeds taking out and maybe you'd paint it a different colour. I mean, it's just a matter of taste. Yeah, if it was gutted, you wouldn't have any of that. Yeah. That's all, that's all rain splash. Yeah. Right. So, shall we continue round? And I take it you're getting a shot of this area because this yeah. is where we're, it's separated. Um... A huge amount of drainage points. That's good, can't be bad. No, it cannot be bad. And there are, I've forgotten to mention, we, we have outside uh, lights on the walls. It's not the first, they're in various situations there. And you've also got water points on various walls yeah. as well. So, yes, lead the way. Hmm. Yeah, I'll sort of we'll look at the garden as we go up. I mean, there's uh, well, it's primarily olive trees, isn't it? Yeah, there's the wall, one walnut at the front, and yeah. then here we've got oh, a handful of olives. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's not loads. One, two, three, four. Well, the neighbours just cut and pruned them for them. And then we've got another uh, walnut tree here. So, as I said, in fact, maybe you should Oh, well, we'll walk I'm going down. to look, uh, yeah, oh. just back down to the house. Yeah. I'm going to sweep so you can see the whole of the garden. Yeah. It would kind of lend itself to putting a pool in the middle, wouldn't it? <laughs> if Actually really it was viable. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, I mean, a lot, a lot of people are, well, they're insistent on, the, on the, the pool set in the ground, but you can make really nice features with above ground pools. And that actually lends itself, the heights lend itself to yeah, you could just do an above ground uh, pool yeah. with decking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would work. Yep. What we'll do is, I think you should probably stick your head out there and just look left and right <laughs> and then come back to me here. Okay, darling. I'll... Am I being bossy again? Apparently yeah. I got told off in the last <laughs> video. Yeah. Mind you, he got called Humpty Grumpty, which also did make me laugh. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. 
Come on then. Humpty, Humpty, what was it, Humpty? Humpty Grumpty. It was Humpty, Humpty, Humpty bit, Grumpty, darling. wasn't it? Yeah. Was it? And Bossy Britches. Yeah, clocks you very well. Right. We have, okay, it's really dark in here. Yeah. But, I mean, what an amazing room. I mean, that is one fireplace, isn't it? I mean, I think, personally, as you've probably all started to understand, I walk in and figure out how I'd figure out, the, configure the house for my own family. Um, this would make an amazing kitchen diner. It would. Absolutely, Absolutely amazing. stunning. Yeah. You just insulate from the inside, put in some fake wooden beams. You keep this and put an amazing fireplace in. You've got room for your kitchen. At both sides, you can put in lots of uh, cupboards and you've just got an amazing big table in the middle. You have. You can have a sofa in it. I mean, it's a really good space. I mean, you get 20, oh, how many people get around that table? Four, three, oh, hang on. I mean, 20 One, odd. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16 to 20? Yeah. Yeah. That would make a, so yeah, if you're going to turn it into habitation if you can, then obviously that would make a fabulous, or, or just a brilliant entertainment yeah. room. But also, I mean, if you're doing workshops, there's a great place to sit down and go, here we study. Sure. But it depends what you're doing. Yeah. So in here, because this was just for animals, uh, the, the owner was ever so upset because she had actually paid someone to come and clean and they hadn't done it. It's no problem. Um, but I think we can set this live. In here, can you go back so I can come out so I don't do that thing again? In there, there is a shower, a toilet and a wash basin. Again, you've got, you have got natural light coming in. Yeah, I've got the shower in here. It's all tiles, all nice. I mean, the heights lend itself to a myriad of things, don't they? It does, yeah. I mean, you could actually put a ceiling in here if you wanted to and have a, an attic storage space as well. well or just keep these wonderful, wonderful high ceilings. You keep the high ceilings. I mean, so now I've turned this into a lounge. I've moved the door from there to here. I've got rid of the shower. And uh, this is a little <laughs> office space. This is your lounge. Okay. And in here, I reckon we could get a four... You'd be pushing it to get four on a suite. No, you get three, though. Would we? It's a big space, isn't it? We'd yeah. have to have the one with a nice big glass door. Do you spritey things? But actually, from here, if you look at that, doesn't it give itself for a mezzanine? Uh, yep. You could. Okay. Yeah, you kind of... Yeah, you gain one thing and lose another with that, don't you? But, but anyway... Uh, you, you know, you don't want to lose that really impressive high ceiling-y thing that I think this place lends itself towards. But what it is, is an enormous, well-built space with natural light and windows. So you could easily look one, two, three, four, I mean, that's splitting it into four rooms, all with at least one window. Yeah, go on, do your, do your pacey thing. I want to know how wide this area is. Oh, you want me to do, sorry, I'm struggling to hear you a little bit. Yeah, it's And I'm echo. being blinded by the light. There's a song in that. Reminds me of Penelope Pit Stop when she's doing that. Ten? Okay. So, I mean, it's only like 70 square metres. 70 or 80 so square metres. So, it should meters. be seven. Yeah. Okay, let's, now's the test, isn't it? One. Eight. I'll make it eight. So, it's got 80 internal square metres. Obviously, I don't have the perfect meterage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but that's, that's three or four bedrooms, easy. Yeah. So, so. I'd rent out the front and, move, and convert this for me. No, oh, or vice versa, yeah. And then you come out. Oh, there we go. And we've lost the echo again. That's oh, good. Marvellous. Um, so, sorry about that, everyone. Right, so the, the land here sweeps down, is private. So, we've got another olive. I don't know what that one. I think that's another walnut. This is the borehole. And that's the pump house for the borehole. Yeah. And... Now, I've, this is the third time I've done this, so it's going to be very interesting. You can poke the camera over the fence. Uh, can I? Yeah, and I can climb up here. I'm just going to watch that. Oh. Right. 
but you don't know what you're looking at. So in theory, you should be able to write. Pan to your right, Paul. No, no, down. That's it. And pan to your right. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting all of it. And you can see an area that's, well, it's, it's meant to be a triangle, but it's sort of a, a horseshoe area. That also belongs to the property. Right. And this is just a public Camino road that just leads into the village. I don't know what I'm doing up here either. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> ah! One thing we've missed is the fact that you can walk all the way. Do people know where you are? Around the building, yeah. Okay. They know exactly where we are because I didn't move. There we go. Oh, nice. I'm, 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 look at these acorns crunching. Paul acorn crushing, they're small squirrels. And uh, I think they've eaten the acorns and thrown their. They're a squirrel hater. Thrown <laughs> I think it's just the shells and stuff, the, uh, Jesus. <laughs> I bet there are, are a lot of red squirrels in there, you know? Yeah, I mean, it is worth mentioning. I mean, is it worth just taking a, a, a shot of the land on the right-hand side? Just to show that, actually, it's a very lovely fork oak forest. There's just... There's no neighbours on that side at all. Yeah, with lichen everywhere, which... I don't know if you know, but it indicates superior air quality. Which we have pretty much everywhere in central Portugal. Well, very that, many places, yeah. As you move into the left there, then you can see that there are other houses in the village. Yeah, we are in a village. There's yeah. no getting away from that. A very but, nice village. It yeah. is too. It's very popular. Yeah. So, shall we just do it here? Our oh, summary. Do. I do like to be under a tree. She does. I think probably fall on me. Um, right, so, in summary, we have... Whoa, not too close. <laughs> we have, although it's 20 years old, it's in immaculate condition. It's got good-sized rooms. It's three bedrooms, all of which are en suite. A large kitchen and a large lounge with incredibly tall ceilings, which must mean you have attic space above the rest of it as well. And then we've got this garden area, all of which is fenced. Um, one thing I didn't mention as we walked along the acorns is there was a little hatch where the dogs could go in, into their own kennel in that back room. Oh. Um, and then again, it's fenced here. This is 170 square metres. It's urban, but it's registered as storage. I, I cannot guarantee at all. The owner's going to find out. So when we've got the information, we'll let you know, because I know everyone's going to say, can it return to habitation? I don't know at the moment. Uh, but one way or another, you've got two very good quality properties. I mean, that could easily be insulated from the inside, and it would just be a complete game changer and very usable all year round. Yeah. So... Summary, great location, very popular sought after area. Um, good price, all fenced, ready to go. I think that's probably sums it up, really, doesn't it? Please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.